For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I want to provide a brief recap of what we've been discussing, thinking about, what we've been working on as we are concluding week three. This week, we are still working, and some of you are reading a lot of articles, trying to find, make sure that you have enough articles. It's always recommended that you find as many articles that you need to complete your literature review before you really get serious about developing too many body paragraphs. If you don't do this, you run the risk of developing, let's say, half of your literature review, only to find out later maybe that you're missing articles and you continue reading and you decide that you want to make some changes that could imply changes to the paragraphs that you've already completed. Again, we started off developing a thesis statement, creating key points at the end of that thesis statement, anywhere from two to four, to correlate or to relate directly to the key sections. Use the same keywords that you have included in your key points, in your section headings, and also in your uh, research questions. We want to make sure that we align the research questions with the key sections, also with the key points listed at the end of the thesis statement. So if we do that, we are less likely to have problems later when we start our own study and have it perhaps not relate to our literature review. Don't mention anything in the literature review that is not directly related to the purpose and objective of your study. So remember that this week we completed our first body paragraph for me to provide you some some uh, some input a lot of the websites here I've been sharing with you whether it's in our uh, through our discussions and our tutoring sessions or perhaps I've included links to your body paragraphs in your shared word document in teams so do take a look at some of these pages these pages are uh, again i think relevant to what we're working on this this week so one one other thing i wanted to talk about related to your organization or the way that you're organizing your literature review i would avoid organizing your literature review as if it were a quote-unquote history lesson. That is, you're talking at providing a lot of history of, let's say, theories, techniques, materials, um, unless certain points or aspects are related to your paper. There might be some ideas in there that you want to include in your literature review. There's nothing wrong with talking about how it used to be versus how it is today, but I would avoid organizing your literature review as uh, chronologically or based on time. Uh, I would instead organize it by either reasons or ways. I think those are the most two of the most common ways that I, I would organize the, the key sections of your literature review as opposed to an overall kind of a history lesson approach. You do want to address a problem. So organize your thesis and your literature review sections to address a problem, but do it in a way that you are proposing possible solutions. So again, the thesis statement should present possible solutions. Three different reasons or ways your claim supports a possible solution to the problem that later will develop in the introduction paragraph. I included some additional links, pretty much the same as last week. So. Uh, do take a look at these as you need to. Take a look at my feedback and the links that I've provided there as well. Continue reaching out to me if you want me to look at anything in your shared Word document. Uh, if it's something related to narrowing down your topic, we can schedule extra sessions beyond your tutoring session, whether it's face-to-face -face or online, to address those issues. At this point, everyone should have the articles they need to complete the literature review. If you don't, and you're struggling finding the articles, then we need to have a discussion. So we'll stop there and uh, continue letting me know here if you need some feedback from me, if you're having some struggles with your paper. And week four, we'll continue 
building our first draft of our literature review that's going to be due March 1st. Today's the 16th, so we basically have two weeks now to complete our literature review. Okay, so we'll stop there. Again, reach out if you do have any questions.